Hey, see guy 1948 here. Got another project. The uh, 65 Mustang I had was way too rough. So, looked around, found one of these. Uh, 60, was it a 62 uh, Ford Ranchero. It's in pretty good shape, really. The body's pretty straight on it. There's a little bondo in spots, but overall it's not really that bad. The bed seems to be pretty good. A little rot right there. Tailgate works on it. Needs tail lights. I need bumpers for it. Um, interior, I need to fix this door. It's got a hinge issue. And uh, needs a new floor pan, of course. Hmm. But yeah. Shouldn't be too bad. It's either going to be this, or I've got another truck spotted. So, I mean, they'll both get done up if I get the other one. But, uh, it just depends on which one I get. Because Dad, after he saw this, he kind of wants it. So, <laughs> I don't know. But see, it says Falcon on this side, and I don't know if someone put that on there. Or if it's supposed to have Falcon on that side, because it's got uh, Ranchero on this side so I don't know if it's supposed to be like Falcon Ranchero or just someone put a Falcon badge on it but overall it's in pretty good shape really this door works really good but there's no engine in it yeah I should have done this from the other side but that many miles on it it was like yeah, 2,000, 2,600, something like that. The guy threw that in. I forgot what he said that was out of, but he was going to make it an automatic on the floor. It was an automatic on the column. But it needs a new headliner, of course. And Down in there is in pretty good shape. I've been blocking up the microphone this whole time. the hood I need to get the latches on it or the hinges on it but up under here down in there I'm gonna have to do some <laughs> a little rotted out down low there but overall it's in pretty good shape really it's got an automatic transmission in it but uh, I still got the Mustang I'm thinking about pulling the in the 206 cylinder and the automatic transmission and just mounting it in here shouldn't be too hard to make it work so Definitely a project. I like it. It's still got the chrome up there. It says Ford across the front. The grill is not in the greatest shape. I'm going to hunt for another grill. And of course, I need a front bumper for it. So it needs some parts, but overall, it's in pretty, pretty good shape. It's a pretty neat looking truck. All right, I'm back. I thought I was going to end the video, but I cleaned it out bed looks really good it's kind of like a big dent at a low spot right there but a little ding there and you know but for the most part it's in really good shape yeah there's a little bit of rust starting right there too but I already showed you that so overall it's in uh, pretty good shape it's just all the parts that I need to uh, it's kind of pricey <laughs> start thinking that there kind of kind of needs replaced and I'm missing the other one it didn't come with it the grill is in pretty it's pretty beat up headlight buckets this one's usable but this one's pretty eh, it's on its way out I'll probably try and find another one if I can um, interior floors oh. Not, I mean, it needs replaced, but where I got to weld to, it's not real bad. Seems like all oh, this is pretty solid. The only thing I'm not sure of is the bar that goes across here, that center well. It looks good on this side to a point, but on that side it's looking kind of, eh, yeah. <laughs> so, probably have to do something, a little bit of work on that center hump there. 
Uh, the dash, all the uh, the knobs on it, I'd spray them with some WD, but they're, uh, they've kind of broken my hand when I, <laughs> when I went to grab them, so they're pretty well shot. The radio. Uh, yeah. So you've got the little back shelf there. That's metal. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a project, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll see you next video. Oh shoot, I was zoomed in. Have a great day.